In this video, I am going to talk about the different types of analytics that is uh, done or that is uh, there in the market. So the first one is the uh, financial risk analytics. Well, this uh, type of analytics is done uh, in the uh, banking and finance industry. Okay. So uh, what are the different types of uh, risk analytics that is performed? Uh, the first one is credit risk and then market risk and operational risk. Credit risk is about whether uh, whether a customer going is going to uh, pay off your loan or not. A bank has lent loan to the customer whether the, the customer is going to default uh, on the loan or he is going to make the payment. So the risk or the analytics that is done on this particular problem is known as credit risk and there is something known as market risk well uh, the banks faces risk uh, from the uh, ups and downs in the in the market uh, uh, and in the macro economy so uh, there could be a crash uh, in the stock market or there could be problems like uh, uprising that happened in the uh, Middle East, or that could be some macroeconomic issues like uh, change in the government or high inflation rate. So uh, the risk uh, coming from there, and the analytics uh, to predict if such a such an event is going to happen or not comes in the category of market risk analytics. And the next one is operation risk. It's about uh, uh, doing analytics on the day-to-day -day operation of the uh, banks or the financial organizations. So uh, what are the operational issues that could come? Well, the potential issues could be fraud. So that's one of the uh, category of operational issues. There could be uh, operational uh, risk related to uh, any um, natural calamity like cyclone, or uh, collapse uh, like building collapse or there could be riots so uh, these are the things uh, that come under the category of operational risk analytics then uh, another thing is portfolio optimization so every bank wants to uh, optimize on the uh, on the return it gets from different uh, types of portfolio when i say portfolio it's it means a group of customer or a set of similar customers uh, based on product or demography or anything so uh, the banks ensure that uh, how do i like how much do i charge interest rate or what should be the tenure of the loan or who should i give money okay and what should be the, uh, what should be the action in in terms of uh, if somebody fails to fails to uh, pay back uh, or do the pay, uh, make the payment, so these decisions are uh, are very important and uh, come under the category of portfolio uh, optimization. So in this case, the most important thing is pricing analytics. Okay, pricing. Uh, so pricing is about uh, getting to know what should be the interest rate charge. What should be the interest rate tar charged to the customers uh, because banks charge a different interest rate to different customers uh, based on uh, different criteria so getting to know what at what interest rate my profit is going to be maximized come under the category of uh, pricing analytics and in a broader category it, it falls under the uh, portfolio optimization analytics and the next important thing is risk mo uh, model monitoring like whatever models that you have built uh, you need to monitor uh, these models uh, on a regular basis uh, could be on a daily basis or weekly basis monthly basis or a quarterly basis uh, why is it so important because uh, we, we recently had a bad time uh, in 2008 when we had uh, the financial crisis and one of the reason is because a uh, lot of things were overlooked uh, the uh, senior management of companies did not pay attention to the risk that was coming out of the uh, market and they, they overlooked it so model monitoring on monitoring your model uh, is very important because model uh, gives you the information of the potential risk that is going to come 
so monitoring the model on a daily basis is very important it's not just about uh, you know doing analytics and then um, and then forget about it you just have to continuously do it and uh, ensure that uh, things are okay the next broad category of analytics is marketing analytics and get it's getting very uh, it's becoming very popular nowadays uh, primarily because of the social media so uh, the kind of work that one is expected to do in marketing analytics is uh, customer targeting so how do we know who is going to be a potential customer and uh, because you probably won't like uh, to target somebody who, who wouldn't be interested in your product uh, so for example you, you are a uh, you, you are a tourism company or a travel company okay so uh, if if you approach somebody who doesn't like traveling uh, you are simply wasting your time and money you probably want to uh, target somebody um, who, who is an avid traveler or who takes interest uh, in that kind of a thing so uh, knowing who are who, who are my potential customer is very important and that come under the category of uh, customer targeting analytics and the next one is churn analysis and this is very important in telecom uh, telecom uh, business where people uh, keep on changing the subscribers uh, or the or the vendor uh, rather the vendor very very often if they're not happy with uh, the service provided by one company they will switch over to uh, some other company so knowing that what are the factors responsible for that and ensuring that the customers are loyal so uh, it's very important so that this is known as churn analysis or it is also otherwise known as loyalty analysis loyalty analytics so um, so that's another category of marketing analytics and the next one is the consumer pattern analysis which is very important nowadays um, so this is about understanding the pattern in the uh, uh, consumer data like when exactly uh, a particular type of consumers are uh, buying you more and when they're not buying for example if an e-commerce company wants to give an promotional offers uh, so it, it need to know like uh, when exactly is the appropriate time to uh, give uh, to give uh, uh, offers um, so you probably want to uh, give offers uh, at a time when uh, the chances of uh, customers buying the product is more so knowing the pattern in the consumer data or the behavior uh, data is very important so that is consumer pattern analysis the next kind of uh, or the next type of broad type of analytics is operation analytics so this is very popular in the manufacturing industry and uh, in fact in almost all kind of industry even in e-commerce uh, or even in a retail industry so this deals with the uh, the inventory optimization inventory forecasting and then uh, making sure that the supply chain is efficient uh, so the typical example could be uh, uh, Walmart like if Walmart uh, receives products from different companies in its warehouses how best to ensure that how best to uh, organize things so that the operational efficiency can be achieved so that's one of the uh, thing and then uh, how to ensure that uh, right uh, you know the human resource uh, employed uh, for uh, serving the customer is appropriate otherwise there will be problems or in the case of uh, in the case of uh, amazon if uh, the if something is delivered wrongly then it's going to cost the company a lot so how to ensure that these problems uh, are based uh, dealt with so that 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 part of analytics is known as operational analytics analytics so supply chain inventory order management uh, warehousing or this type of areas where and uh, we do analytics come under the category of operation analytics the uh, next one is the web analytics it's fairly new uh, and uh, the name comes from the uh, word website 
so the analytics that is done on the website visitors okay just to improve the efficiency just to ensure that what makes customers visit our websites more and more and what are the reasons uh, customers are not spending time on my website they are just visiting and then they are just going to some other website or competitor website and uh, who who all are the customer who are spending time on my website so that come under the category of web analytics fairly new because internet is new to the world but it's getting very popularity uh, because of uh, google analytics and the in fact the most famous uh, famous web analytics is the google analytics uh, where google tracks uh, the website traffic and uh, and the pattern in the customers the uh, next type of analytics is the manufacturing analytics well this is may not be very popular but it has been there for a very long time uh, there used to be a, there used to be a, a department known as operation research department even now that's there but uh, the name has actually changed uh, from operation De operation research department to now people are calling it manufacturing analytics so this is very popular in the manufacturing industry where analytics is done on the data coming out from the subflow where products are built so uh, uh, so that's uh, like that's one area which is also gaining popularity uh, because of the app, uh, because of the availability of computers and because of the availability of uh, you know storing glass volume of data and the next one is the social media analytics well this is the most famous analytics uh, in the uh, current time uh, that's because of uh, the uh, modern days products like facebook twitter and google plus so these are facilities or these are the uh, new buzzword probably in almost every country people use facebook twitter and google plus so million of millions uh, hundreds of millions of people uh, are there uh, on the sites and the companies want to uh, companies want to target the customers through the social media so uh, how to know that uh, how to know that uh, who are my potential customers by looking at the behavior in the uh, uh, in the facebook or in twitter is very important uh, and uh, people do uh, Twitter analysis, sentiment analysis. If somebody launches a product, so what is the uh, uh, reaction coming out from people? So just by looking at the tweets, one will get to know that uh, what is the sentiment. Okay, so that that is uh, another type of analytics which is now getting uh, becoming popular is a sentiment analysis. So uh, you can yeah, use Twitter data to do some analytics. Uh, and also it's important to know like who gets maximum amount of likes and all like the people in the world or the companies in the world who gets uh, a large uh, number of likes on the Facebook page and uh, it's very easy when you uh, to reach out to people because if you have a Facebook page and you upload something there uh, in, in a matter of second uh, your if you post something there in a matter of second it will reach out to the, uh, the people uh, and uh, and if they share with their friends and it's just going to multiply so uh, so doing analytics on all these things okay just to gain advantage or competitive advantage over your uh, competitors uh, and uh, making sure that you build a good brand we use the uh, social media analytics this is this is uh, a different type of analytics because the data that you will be dealing in this case is going to be very different it's not going to be very organized so it's it's very messy data so uh, uh, so that's one of the reason why it's very uh, interesting and then and the next one is the text analytics it, it comes from the social media because uh, we do analytics on text data uh, we do analytics uh, so facebook data twitter data is text so text analytics is is probably uh, a, a part of social media analytics although text analytics can be done on other kind of data <clears throat> like you can do analytics on 
the uh, newspapers uh, uh, for last 100 years new york times for example or times of india so you can take uh, the newspapers for last 100 years and do analytics on that so in that case your data will not be in a regular tabulated form it will be text data and very very difficult to handle but yes one can do analytics on that just to know like uh, how the news pattern has changed over the years uh, sentiment analysis i have already talked about it it's about uh, studying the behavior of people twitter example that i actually uh, gave just now is is a uh, is an example of sentiment analytics uh, people want to know what is the sentiment okay is it the right time to get into a market is it the right time to uh, do the announcement so questions like okay when do i launch my product or when do i when do i release my movie for example in the movie industry uh, one of the question that comes is what is the right time to uh, you know release the movie so these things can be uh, understood better by doing the sentiment analytics even this this one is very popular even in the uh, in the in the politics uh, president obama used this for uh, his campaign just to understand the sentiment of the people and uh, in fact based on the sentiment of the people he used to write his own election speech uh, 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 prime minister narendra modi in india also used sentiment analysis uh, while doing uh, while while uh, he was doing the campaigns in India. So uh, these are the different types of analytics. Of course, there are so many other types of analytics you, you will come across. But broadly, yeah, these are one. The, these are these are the one you will, you will come across uh, in, in most of the times.